Okay, so now the calculation part of what we just did for our titration. So we have our initial volume. And this is of our base. So what was our initial volume? Uh, you said 3.8. Okay, and then final volume was 17.90 milliliters. So what is our change in volume then? 14.15 milliliters. Okay, so this is all the stuff that was in the burette or our base. What was the concentration of our base? The change is 05. It's 05. It's 05? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Our base, what was our concentration? 0.25 molar blood. So it was 0.25 molar, and we had sodium hydroxide in there. Okay? Now, the acid, so this was in our flask. Okay. So we had the volume of our acid. What was that? 24.90 milliliters. Okay. And the concentration of our acid. Is unknown. We don't know that. What type of acid did we have though? Hydrochloric acid. So we know we have some sort of molarity of hydrochloric acid. Does it matter which basin acid I have? Yes. Yes, it matters because if this wasn't HCl, what if it was H2SO4? Your ratio would change, right? Okay. So here's all our data in terms of our calculations. So now let's solve. Let's figure out what is the unknown concentration of our hydrochloric acid. Okay. So this is very much like problem number three from your practice last night. Okay. So step number one. Um, I think I have board space. We'll do this way. Step number one is balanced equations. So we have HCl plus NaOH making NaCl plus water. My mole ratio is one to one here. I have a balanced equation. That's important for us. Okay. And now we solve for concentration of hydrochloric acid. Okay. Which essentially means solving for how many moles were there. Because we know the volume. So if we find the moles, we can apply moles per volume and find concentration. Okay. So let's start with what did we use in the burette? Okay, so we have 40.05 milliliters of NaOH. Okay. What's our first step here? Change it to liters. Yeah, change it to liters, right? So 1,000 milliliters to one liter. I'm going to run out of space it up. I'm not careful here. Okay. If I know liters, what can I do next? Yeah, because their molarity really means the same thing as moles per liter. So I have 0.25 moles for every one liter. And this is of our NaOH. What's next? Mole bridge. So for every one mole of NaOH, I get one mole of HCl. Okay. What's next? Do we need to go to grams? No. Volume? No. So we're done, actually. We're going to solve for moles of HCl. And we know our volume, right? Okay, so let's convert our volume to liters. So 24.90 milliliters is how many liters? 0.02490 liters. 
So that's our moles. Um, do we have that number yet? What is 14.05 times? What's that? 0.0035. Is that rounded off? Uh, yes, that's 125. Yeah. 0.0035125 like that? Yep. That's okay, so we don't want to round it yet. So we're going to take this number and then divide it by that number. Okay, so very last thing, can you guys see still? To get molarity of our HCl, we take our moles. Divided by our volume. And if I divide those two out, what do I get? 0.141. What's my label? Molarity. Molarity of HCl. Let's check our significant figures. So we had. Four sig figs here after we did our calculation, so that's subtraction. We had two significant figures here, so we had four down here. So what limits us? Yeah, this guy limits our precision. So the basically the precision at which you make up your base limits it. So we can say 0.14 molar HCl. Okay. All right, guys. For those of you at home watching, thank you for your time.